I'm Edie Lush and I'm here in the Hub Pavilion in Davos and I'm joined now by Oscar Onyema. Thanks very much for coming along. Thank you very much. You're the CEO of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. So tell me a little bit about what you're here to tell the good people of Davos. Well, I'm here to let them know that uh, we're open for business. Uh, Nigeria is uh, one of the biggest countries in Africa mm -hmm. and the Nigerian Stock Exchange is the second biggest uh, exchange in Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, we offer equities and fixed income products and exchange traded mm -hmm. funds. Um, so we're looking to attract uh, global portfolio uh, investments uh, to Africa and to Nigeria in particular. What companies are already listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange? Um, we have about 200 companies listed. Uh, some of the more familiar uh, global names uh, would be Total, uh, Nestle, uh, Cadbury. Uh, Awando, uh, Dangote Group, uh, Unilever, uh, USC, there are quite a number of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and why would a, a company list on the Nigerian Stock Exchange? Well, most of these uh, companies uh, have substantial businesses in Nigeria. Uh, Guinness, for example, has mm -hmm. the second biggest uh, Guinness factory in the world in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and they are listed. Uh, they would want to uh, be there uh, for visibility, to get mm -hmm. access to local capital, um, to diversify the ownership mm -hmm. uh, interest within uh, the country uh, and give the consumers of their mm -hmm. products a sense of ownership mm -hmm. uh, as well. So these are some of the reasons uh, why they were list. So you're here talking to portfolio managers as well. Tell me, what, um, what are some of the questions you get from them about, about whether or not they should come to Nigeria? Well, most of them have certain criteria they use for deciding uh, whether they would allocate assets mm -hmm. to a particular geographical uh, region. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we want to make sure that we understand what their criteria would be mm -hmm. for increasing their asset allocation to Africa and to Nigeria so that we can make sure we're addressing the, the issues that are important to them. And what are uh, some one of their criteria? One of them would be uh, transparency, mm -hmm. uh, political stability mm -hmm. within the country to address country risk, mm -hmm. uh, a stable currency, uh, because, you know, they would have to convert mm -hmm. to the local currency. And when they take their profit back, uh, they'll have to reconvert again mm -hmm. back to the international currency. Um, uh, policies that allow for easy inflows and outflows of capital. Mm -hmm. um, and so we are listening to them and we are trying to make sure that mm -hmm. we're responsive uh, to, to their needs. Tell me about the stability of the Nigerian currency. How's that? Well, the Nigerian Currency is a free-floating currency. Mm -hmm. We typically watch um, uh, how we benchmark against the U.S. dollar. Mm -hmm. um, the Central Bank of Nigeria um, has a, a band within which the currency mm -hmm. can flow. And uh, it was relatively very stable um, until we started noticing the value of the Naira depreciating against the dollar until mm -hmm. the CBN moved that band a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, I think right now uh, the Naira is trading anywhere from 156 to 160 mm -hmm. uh, Naira uh, to the US dollar. And tell me, is there a benefit for um, asset managers who are interested not just in Nigeria but also in other areas of Africa to, co to come to the Nigerian Stock Exchange? Uh, yes, there is a big benefit because uh, as we've seen in Davos, uh, we understand that uh, world growth uh, if you're looking for high mm -hmm. uh, returns, then you should be looking at emerging and frontier economies because the developed economies have much lower returns uh, to give. So uh, a, a, uh, an asset, uh, a portfolio asset manager that is looking for higher returns uh, can uh, easily access uh, Africa and Nigeria in particular. Obviously, it has to be risk adjusted. So mm -hmm. uh, now that we know we need to start addressing some of the things they're looking for, with regards to reducing risk, uh, we hope that will be uh, a favorable destination uh, for them. Oscar, thanks so much for stopping into the Hub Pavilion here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lash.